Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306, and sorry for the uh, hand-holding, not having a uh, you know, fixed camera or anything. I'm going to have to do this one-handed, but um, basically I got a new toy in. Um, I got this for uber cheap. Um, it's in many, many pieces right now, and this is a iPico, um, it's a um, FL Coast projector, a ferric, or was it a... Uh, ferromagnetic uh, liquid crystal and silicon uh, reflective projector and you can see here works um, I'll show you the flash screen it looks very nice um, this is an RGB projector so um, my eyes are particularly sensitive if I move um, my my eyes a little bit I can see kind of stripes of red, green, and blue. You can kind of see as I'm moving my finger across it, it's flickering a little bit. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing with it. So, um, I've hacked this. Originally, this is only uh, compatible with um, n newer iPhones, not the ones with the original 30-pin dock connector, so this is the actual attachment, um, as well as some iPod touches, but not all. Um, and that's sort of uh, a pain because this is actually a pretty decent projector. It's, I think, 940 by, or 950 something by 840 resolution. So that's actually pretty good. Um, brightness is about, I think, 15 lumens. But um, the thing is, like, no one has, uh, you know, these iPods really, or, you know, no one really cares about older iPods or whatever that this is compatible with. And so these are going uber cheap. I got this guy for 20 bucks for a projector with the specifications that it has, that's really cheap. I've noticed though that as soon as I bought it, prices jumped up to about 50. Um, so, you know, your mileage may vary, but I want to show you what I've been doing. So to test it, I have this Arduino here programmed with um, a game of Asteroids. And so if I connect it in there and reboot this guy, hopefully it'll come up. Ah, okay. Doing this one-handed is a pain. Come on. Four K. Ah, I'm an idiot. That's why. Okay. Right wire would help. So um, you can see here, projecting on my wall works. I can uh, hit the fire button there and starts right up. Works pretty well. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is the projector. So right now, this is actually a composite video input. So as I said, it only works through this stupid little dock connector uh, thing originally. There's no other video input. And I bought this with the risk that maybe the I uh, iPhone was using some kind of proprietary digital um, input. And that might be the case looking at the number of contacts on this connector. Um, however, uh, the chip, the onboard chip... Uh, I downloaded the data sheet here. It's the uh, TW8835, and I have the full data sheet here. There's an embedded processor um, inside the, the video controller chip, and yeah, it's uh, this guy right here, which is on the underside of uh, the projector itself. Let me shut this off. Um, so I've been slowly, you know, reverse engineering, trying to get this to work. So all I ended up doing was... Um, Y in zero, uh, pin 15 here, I soldered a wire, and that wire goes to here, which is the composite input. Now, the Arduino outputs a composite video source, so it's simple black and white. There's no color, nothing like that. Um, that'd be a little bit too grunty for this uh, 328 processor. Um, so right now, I'm just in, um, inputting that directly into the chip, and luckily... Um, the configuration for this chip, I assume, I, I'm trying to reverse engineer the configuration data, but I'm assuming that it's uh, initialized to mostly default values since there's not too much data um, being sent in, into the chip. Uh, this little chip here is a um, PIC 18F, rather LF, the low voltage version, and this is the main controller which sends configuration data to... Um, to the video IC, which then sends the data uh, to the the actual Lycos panel. Um, so 
from what I've been able to gather is it, it auto, auto detects the composite input, so that's why you can see the image. Um, and this works perfectly for black and white video. However, when I try to input some color video, it just shows up as black and white and not very stable. So I'm thinking that it might be defaulting to some kind of S video. Um, not sure exactly why, but um, in which case, if you look through the data sheet, um, the Y and zero for S video is Luma and Chroma, I think is maybe C and zero or something like that. Um, so I still have to debug this, but it works for black and white video. I just got to get it working for color video, obviously. Um, so in order to do that, I tapped off soldered tiny little wires to the, um, I squared C port because this chip is I squared C controllable. Um, I tapped that off. It was easier to tap it off at the, um, the PIC chip there. And using a logic analyzer, uh, Soleil Logic, I get this data here. And so I'm using the I squared C analyzer and trying to make heads or tails of what the heck uh, this guy is sending. Um, this data sheet that I got for the video IC chip isn't very clear. Um, I haven't been able to find where it says what the, uh, the slave address is. So it's making it a little bit confusing because I can see it's writing, um, the pick is writing to address 20. Um, and then later on it's reading from address 21. Um, but the data that it's reading and, and trying to write to, um, when I scroll through this data sheet, there's a uh, register listing and it's not really matching up with any of that. It's not really making sense. Um, so if any of you have some experience, I can upload this data and maybe you can help out. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can figure this out. I just need time, <laughs> which is uh, pretty much the main problem. But yeah, this guy is a tiny projector. That's the entire optical element right there. I already took it apart just to see um, how everything fit together. And the main board's tiny, so if I can get this working with composite video, it'd be great. What I'm thinking is I can... Um, I don't want to reprogram this pick. Uh, I would prefer to, since um, it uses I squared C and it has bus arbitration, I can hook up another pick microprocessor to it that I can program. Um, so this pick really only sp sends data when the device boots up. So the rest of the time, it, I assume it's just kind of idling or doing I don't know what. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is having a second pick that will take over the I squared C bus and send. Uh, some more initialization commands for getting just standard composite input. This chip also supports 24-bit digital, uh, RGB, uh, component, composite, S-video, uh, as well as uh, analog RGB. So I should be able to get VGA into this guy, um, assuming the timing requirements are correct. But it looks like it is, uh, which would be awesome because I can have this tiny little projector, um, you know, with... Uh, 9 something by 540 resolution uh, hooked up to a computer or a Raspberry Pi or anything else. Yeah, so that'd be pretty awesome um, for the price of uh, 20 some bucks. That's, that's great. Um, just got to figure out a little naggle with the uh, composite input. I want to get composite working first and then I'll worry about more complex things. Uh, but first things first, I have to understand and decode all this nonsense. Uh, once I can, I can write a, some simple code for a PIC or an Arduino or whatever I want. Um, just um, connect it to you know the I squared C lines to this chip, and just send out the data. And that should I should be able to externally control the chip to whatever my little heart desires. So yeah, this is a little update of what I've been doing more recently, alongside a whole bunch of other junk that I've been doing. <laughs> Um, besides work, so yeah, sorry I haven't been able to put up a video, um, quite a while, but, you know, uh, it's pretty busy, um, the semester just ended, and I'm working for the summer, so, yeah, but definitely I will, uh, spend a little bit of time getting this working, because this is just so freaking cool how small it is. Originally had a little, um, 1500 milliamp hour battery in there, but, um, uh, this guy is from, I think, 2012, and that thing was swollen like a balloon. So I hastily unplugged it and tossed it, um, you know, as far away as I could from me, uh, you know, lest it exploded. No, I'm shifting. But anyway, yeah, so I'm, I'm planning on um, getting another lithium battery once I get all this working. Um, 
jacking it in there, removing this silly connector, putting a standard composite video input maybe via 3.5 millimeter jack, and just drill a hole in the back of the case or something. Uh, it already has a built-in USB for the charger for the battery, so just shove another battery in there, and I basically have a full-featured Pico projector for 20 bucks. Can you believe it? Anyway, I'll keep working on this, and when I make some progress, I will uh, definitely let you guys know. I'll post some updates, and if anyone has some more details on this, this is an iPico projector. Maybe um, someone else has done this before. I have no idea. I looked it up online, and it seems like this is an obscure device that no one has hacked. <laughs> no one's at least tried to even do anything with it. So... But yeah, if anyone has any details or on the uh, specific chip, the uh, TW8835, I definitely be uh, appreciative. That would definitely speed things along because I wanna, I wanna hack this guy and then I'll put up um, details online so other people can do the same thing because you can do a lot of cool projects with something like this. Um, so I wanna see what people can do. But first steps first, let's get this thing hacked. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.